most hyped about meeting Travis Scott? <laughs> oh, I feel like we all were. He yeah. said he was going to come last year. Well, I guess based on their season, music right? choices, like who listens, who would you say listens mm -hmm. to Travis Scott the most, probably? Yeah, like Taylor, yeah, Hannah, know. maybe. Yeah. Or Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of us. Yeah. Both of your roles are going to increase, you know, in the wake of the, you know, Molly not being able to play. Just um, your comments on that as far as, uh, you know, how's that, how that changes things for either of you. Yeah, I mean, Molly's a very um, crucial part of this team, and me and Kylie stepping in and filling those minutes are going to be super important, and we know that um, our teammates and coaches are behind us, and we have all the confidence in the world in each other and our team, so we're ready to go. Will you guys be a point guard? I mean, a, one of you be a point guard with Wayne Caitlin sitting down? Um, I think we're all, like, we all can handle the ball, but. Yeah. I think, like, me and Sid can both kind of say the same thing on this. Like, whenever there's a position or a role that needs to be, like, someone has to step up in it, well, we're more than willing to do so. So, no matter what position that is or role that is, um, we'll do whatever we have to. Have you played point guard? Like, in high school or anything? I have in high school. Okay. Yeah. Kylie, over the last few games, your your contributions have been pretty loud. I think you had three threes in the game and a couple in the other one, then four steals against Ohio State. Just just talk about those that stretch of three games for you and, and what you've been you know what you've been playing like. Yeah. Um. I think kind of going off of what I just said, like being able to step up in whatever position I have to and doing whatever I need to to help the team. Um. And I'm really just trying to take in and, and enjoy the last few games with these these awesome players and. Um, yeah, like I said, doing whatever I have to in order to do that. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun the past few weeks. Have you always been the kind of person, kind of defender that just sort of flies around and, and gets their hands on And has ball? no idea what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> just wander, yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I kind of just, I have a nickname that my AAU coach, he called me Rolly Twirly because even on the offensive end, I kind of just... I'm all over the place, and you never really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I just kind of always try to do whatever I have to, but I'm wandering around a lot. But <laughs> Lisa called you a bat from hell after the game? <laughs> no. Nah. No, that was a question. Someone asked oh, that question. That was question. your question. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, for both of you guys, just I know you guys have had March experience and all that, but for all the, I guess, emotion and – pressure-packed situations that you guys have gone through pretty much every night. How, do you think that'll make, you know, when you transition now to March and the postseason, kind of an easier, smoother transition because you guys have, in a way, been playing postseason-esque games pretty much the whole year? Or at least it feels like that from an environment standpoint. Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> even throughout practice, we're always kind of preparing for game situations where um, we know there's not always going to be a wipeout in the game, so preparing for those tight tight games. Um, and like the Ohio State game, the previous games that we've been having, we've had some very close ones where we have to stay focused for all four quarters and 40 minutes. So um, I definitely would say that those have prepped us for this, this March and what's to come. Just what, uh, you know, when you see Penn State or Wisconsin, what, what do you see in either or both of those teams? I mean, they both played pretty – good games against us. Um, I think that's a good matchup for us for our first game. I'm excited to play either team. Um, I'd say Penn State's got a little bit more forceful powers um, on their team with Ashley Owusu and their point guard. Um, but I'm excited. <clears throat> so just, there's, a, there's some social media chatter that you got snubbed out of the sixth player of the year. Uh, how much will that be? motivating uh, in the games ahead? Um, that's not like really a focus. The focus is on this team and the girls and taking it game by game. Um, awards are more like individual stats and that's not something that I put my energy and focus on, but. Good answer. What was your reaction when you, you, you found out Molly didn't tear her ACL or she might even be able to come back and I just really fell for her. Yeah. Like my heart was broken yeah. when she fell, and Molly's just such a great player and so important to this team, and such an awesome girl. Um, but just being with her every step of the way, like that's really hard. No matter what it is, when she comes back, and we'll just have her back every step of the way. Yeah. Is it kind of a lift, maybe? I mean, it's kind of an odd sort of thing to say <clears throat> injury could be a lift, but it's, yeah. at least it's not the worst. Yeah, exactly.
I think she's a very tough person too, and you know she's gonna be getting as ready as quickly as possible um, to get back in the court. But um, yeah, she's just a really strong player, and I think when she texted us in our group chat last night, we were all like, we all instantly were texting like, yay, like let's go, like all this stuff. So like we were all very happy for her. It's a very big relief. <clears throat> Curious, do you guys <clears throat> pay attention to like a, a bracketology, like if you're a two seed, a one seed? What could happen this week could propel you up to a one seed? Is that something you, you think about at all with you know the games that are ahead? I think that's always like in the back of your minds, but um, our main focus is to take it game by game. Um, we're not focusing on the NCAA tournament until we play three games and win on Sunday um, for the Big Ten tournament. So. You know, not every team goes into the to the conference tournament with necessarily a huge, you know, there's some teams that are in the bubble, so they have to win to make the tournament. You know, some teams, you know, are trying to play the host. You know, I think that's kind of Indiana's situation. You guys know you're in the NCAA tournament. You know you're going to be hosting. Um, but how much of a motivation is it to try to go win a third straight Big Ten tournament? Yeah, I think we're just really excited. I mean, it's... We have a lot of momentum kind of going into it. Um, and I think we're all kind of clicking at the right time. This is the same thing that happened last year, I feel like, too. It's like, it's kind of a beautiful thing to see how, just throughout the season, how much everybody progresses and how our team chemistry just builds even more. So just a really exciting time, and we're all really pumped for it. How does your team do that? Like, we were talking to Lisa earlier about how your team just seems to get better and better in March, even as other teams maybe are have fallen off. What is it about your team that is able to get better when the attrition of the season would, would hurt most teams? Yeah. Um, I think this is where it gets kind of further outside of basketball. It's the love that we have for each other. I think that really kind of carries out because March, obviously, it's now a few months past since the beginning of the season, and you start to have some wear and tear in your body and whatever, but it's like the chemistry and the love that we have for each other it's just continues to grow, and that's what pushes us through. I asked Coach Blue about this. Two years ago, you guys beat Michigan in the regular season finale to kind of propel you to that into the Big Ten tournament. Last year was Indiana. This year it's Ohio State. How important are those big wins of a really highly rated teams in that last game, just to, to confidence and, and momentum into the into the postseason? I think it just shows us how good we really are. Um, this team has so much potential, and I really think like the sky's the limit. So, um, getting those wins before entering into postseason is super important, and just really builds our confidence. Were you guys really exhausted after Sunday's game? I mean, the, the emotion, the sound, it was just like stimulation city. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you guys are young and in shape, but I, I mean, it was exhausting for us, but <laughs> what did you guys think? I think like sometimes on the court, like we even talk, we're like, we can't even hear ourselves think. Yeah. Like, it's like... <laughs> It's crazy, but the just all the hype around that game and for our seniors and college game day and the competition. It was there was a lot going on and it was really exciting. But after